Good evening, and welcome to this special report of Nature Watch, brought to you by your regional Channel 9 station, WCVA. I am Jan Skylar and have been examining a phenomenon in nature that could lead to a radical change in the understanding of muscle building. Recent medical research has found an amphibian of particular importance to understanding muscle activity, the Australian burrowing frog. I went out into the field and put myself at great risk to get this first-hand research and interview. I am with you now, reporting directly from the Australian outback in search of the Australian burrowing frog. These frogs are out in the open now, but soon, in the hot summer season, they will burrow and hibernate for up to nine months. Unlike other hibernating animals, these frogs do not experience muscle atrophy during their sleep. Studies show that these frogs retain the same muscle mass and power throughout their slumber. The mechanism for this anomaly is unknown, so I'm going to find one and muscle it out of them. Finally caught me. Yeah, it seemed like it took forever. Oh. What do you want? You trying to make me late? My name is Jen Skylar from WCVA. We're doing a study on your species of frog, Cyclorana albogatata. What is your name, slimy fellow? Slimy fellow? I may be slimy, but I am certainly not your fellow. You may call me Magnum, buffest frog in the outback. Interesting that you say that, buffest frog in the outback. Our studies show that your species is different from others. You don't lose muscle mass when you don't use them. Why is that? Shut up! Are you trying to tell everyone? I've won the outback bodybuilding contest for the last 10 years. No one has even come close. If I tell you my secret, I will lose my evolutionary advantage. Now please, buzz off. Well wait, we've tested a bunch of your friends in our labs and some of the results are perplexing. What results? Well, after our dissections... Dissections? I'm gonna be sick! I'm sorry, but results have shown that the cross-sectional area of your sartorius and iliofibularis muscles were not reduced after a nine-month sleep. So? The same test performed on a guinea pig showed that after just 21 days of no activity, there was a significant reduction in the number of muscle fibers. What do you say to that? I say that I am no guinea pig and that this interview has become very insulting. Furthermore, isometric analysis was used to examine twitch muscles, and again, there was no significant difference between pre- and post-sleeping muscles. We need answers, Magnum, and we want them now. Well, you're not getting answers from me. I'm not snitching like those other frogs. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> Through all of our studies, you're the only animal ever to show this kind of muscle property. We only want to understand more. We suspect that your lower body temperature and metabolism during sleep have something to do with your super muscles. I'm not telling you anything. Why don't you understand? Just because I'm special doesn't mean that I have to get hundreds of you scientists trying to take my secret. I hope I don't see you in the outback again, or else you might be in trouble. Why don't you go study some platypus or kangaroo? They're special too, you know. What Magnum didn't know was that while I talked to him, my crew set up a hidden camera in his burrow to try to witness firsthand this miracle of science. Here, for the first time on TV, the hibernating burrowing frog. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Nature Watch. As you can see, this frog doesn't actually have an evolutionary advantage. He just owns a pair of dumbbells. So all we've learned is that if you want to get buff, you still have to work out. This is Jan Skylar, signing out.